Welcome back, IP2. Let's get started for this class. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, today, I hope you are doing well. You're staying safe, you're staying home. Okay, so for today, we are talking about paint and content creation. This is the third lesson talking about paint and content creation. All right, as you know, this is IP2 and this is our 11th class together. This is lesson number 11. So let's get started. All right, let's talk about size in MS Paint. Increase the border thickness of an image using the size option, okay? So we will show you that. Increase line thickness and outline using size option. So you can do this using this in MS Paint. So this is your first option. Option one is to go to the home tab you can go to the home tab here. And once you go to the home tab, you select size right here. Select size, find your size tab. Select size and choose the required border size. So choose what size do you need? What size do you want? Okay. So what you have to do is you go to the size, you select which one, which thickness do you want? How thick do you want the border or the line to be? Okay, this was option one. Option two, option two is you go to, uh, so what you have to do is use the shortcut key to increase the size by pressing Control plus plus or uh, so sorry. So by pressing control with plus. So you press and hold control. So press and hold control and press plus. Okay, the plus sign on your keyboard. So this is on the keyboard. So the shortcut is on the keyboard. So what you have to do is look at your keyboard look at your keyboard, find the control key, find the control key. When you find the control key, press plus. So you press and hold control and press plus. So each time that you press plus, it will make the line thicker. To decrease or to make the size less, make it smaller. So for making it bigger, for making it bigger, for making it thicker, for increasing the size to making the size more, you press and hold control and press plus, press plus. For decrease, to make it less, to make it smaller, to make it thinner, you use to do the same with pressing and holding control, but you press minus, okay? So minus, each time you press minus, it makes it smaller, thinner, okay? This was this. And now, to cut the selection from an image. So how to cut a part of an image? Step one is to first select the portion of the image to cut using the selection tool. So you have to select which part do you want to cut? Where do you want to cut? Which area, which part, okay? Which area or which part do you need to cut? So you have to select it using the selection option. So using this, the selection option, you drag over the part you want to delete. For example, you want to delete this, 
you select it, you drag it over it and select it. Once you have selected it, is we go to the step two. The step two is use any one option to cut the portion, okay? So option one is in home tab, select the cut portion. So in home tab, you come to the home tab, you see on the top next to the file tab, you have the home tab, you go to home tab and then you select cut right next to selection tool. So next to the selection, you have cut. So after you selected the image, you press cut and you get the, you can cut that uh, portion or that part that you have selected, you can cut it. Second option is right click using your mouse, right click on the image and click cut. So by right clicking on your mouse in that area, you get this pop-up, this um, pop-up, and then you can select cut option, okay? So you can select cut. So option one was after you select the, the area that you want to delete, after you select, you can come to home tab and select cut. That's one option. Option two, after you select, you come and, and click right on your mouse and click cut, okay? And option three is a shortcut by using your keyboard. Using your keyboard, you press control and X. So control X, you press and hold control, press and hold, press and hold control, and press X, press X. By doing this, you can see the triangle part or portion of the image is rem removed using the cut option. So you can see using this control and X. So control, for control, you have to press and hold. Don't just press, you press and hold it. So this is your keyboard. You press and hold. And for X, you just press and then you can cut. So there was three. So there was three ways. There were three ways. There were three ways to do this cut option. Next, let's talk about copying an image. So copy an image in MS Paint. To copy the selection from an image, what you can do is has many options and many steps. So we will go through each step. Step one, just do the selection. So you first you have to select the portion of the image that you want to copy using any of the selection tools. So the same, you go to selection, you select the part you want to delete. Once you selected it, uh, uh, copy, sorry. Once you selected it, you can do the next step to copy it. Step two is to use any of the following two options to copy the, that area, that region, that area, that part, okay? So you can choose any part, any region, any area, any portion to copy. So using any of it, you can, uh, using any of the following options, you can copy. First option to copy. In the home tab, select copy. So very similar to cut, right next to the selection tool, under cuts area, you can find copy tab, copy button. So you click on it. And then after, of course, after you have selected the image, the area that you want to delete, you can come here and copy it. You click on it. You click on the copy. Second option is to right click on the image and click copy. So the second option is you can right click and click copy. Once you have selected the image, the area that you want to copy, you right click and you click copy. Third way, similar to the before to before 
we have the shortcut on your keyboard, which you can press and hold control tab or control T and then press C. So control C, control C. This will save your uh, time by using this type of shortcut on your keyboard. Control C is uh, copying basically, control C. Next, we have to paste an image, okay? You have to understand when we say copy, it always is followed, it, it is always followed by paste. So copy and paste are like brothers and sisters, okay? They always come together. They're, they're like friends, okay? That's how I can explain to you. They come together. So you don't just copy. You always copy to paste. And you cannot paste if you have nothing to paste. So when we talk about this, we always say copy and paste, copy and paste, okay? So let's talk about paste. To paste the copied image, follow the below steps, okay? Let's see what are the steps. Step one, place the cursor in the desired region where you want to paste. So you find where you want to paste, okay? And step two, choose any of the options to paste. So option one is to go to home tab and select paste option, select paste option. So right next to cut and copy, we have a big sign that says paste. Right here, it says paste. So this is option one to paste. So remember, here is copy, here is cut, here is paste. Also, cut is also sometimes followed by paste because you cut when you want to delete and copy it, and then you will paste it somewhere else. Copy is you still keep the original uh, picture or original location, and then you paste it somewhere else. So you keep the original and you, you copy this and you paste it here. But if you want to uh, cut this, you cut so it disappears and you paste somewhere else, all right? Let's talk about option number two. Option number two is to right click on the location where you want to paste the image and click paste. So right click and then choose paste. Right click and then choose paste. All right, right click, paste. And option three for pasting is the shortcut is using your keyboard, pressing, Control and then B. So press and hold Control and then press B. Control V. Control B. Once you do that, you can see we have two triangles right now. So two triangles. We have two triangles. Now, how to paste an image? Paste from, paste from. To paste an image from anywhere, from your desktop or from any folder on your computer, you do paste from option. In it, it is used to paste the image from different location or locations. So option one, in the home tab, click paste. So this little arrow, you click this little arrow, uh, in in your home tab, you come here, you press this little arrow, and then you select paste from option. So paste from right here, paste from, paste from. Next, we have option number two. From the paste from dialog box, select the image from the required folder 
and click open. Okay, what does this mean? This means you have to find where was the picture or the file that you want uh, to paste from. Where is it? Which folder did you save it? Did you save it on desktop? Did you save it in downloads? Did you save it in documents? Did you, did you save it in pictures? Which folder is it? So if it's in documents, for example, you just click on documents, it opens the folder for you, and then you can choose the image that you want to paste. So you paste from, and in this option, in this example, they chose uh, the doll, so the first picture and you can see the name here the file name and you just click open so you just press open okay next we have the selected image will be pasted over to the current image so for example once we have pasted it you can see the paste from the doll, it's pasted in our picture. So it's right here. So if you want to resize the image to make it smaller, to make it bigger, place the cursor. The cursor is this, the, your mouse. The cursor is your mouse, basically. Place the cursor all over the edge in, the, in any four corners from the selection. So you move your mouse to any side of the corner. So to any side you want, to the top here, here, or here, or here. You just press it, uh, you just take it there. And then you will see a double headed arrow. So using the double headed arrow, you can resize the image as shown. Next, we have undo. Undo is used to remove the previous action. So for example, if you do something, if you cut, copy, paste, anything, you do something, but at the end, you feel like, oh, this doesn't look good, or oh, this is not nice. And you want to change back to before, you want to go to the past, you want to Go to the last picture before you change. You need to do undo action. So how to do undo is option one, you use the shortcut key, control Z, control Z. So press and hold control and press Z. Option two is click the left arrow, give the above, uh, above the, home tab. So right here above the home tab, you can see this arrow. You press that and then it will go to the action before. So you can see in this picture, for example, we moved or cut some part and we moved it up in the triangle. So maybe it was a mistake or we didn't like it and we want to back, uh, go back to before. What we have to do is undo. So in the image here, you can, uh, you can view the previous action undone in the image. So you can see, we went back to the triangle. We went back to the triangle. All right, sometimes maybe you are not able to find, you cannot find the undo icon. Then add that option, to the quick access toolbar by the following step, okay? So if you cannot find it, you can use this to add the, add the toolbar, add this to your toolbar. So select the customized quick access toolbar icon and select undo. So what you have to do is go to the here, up here, this little arrow, is the customized quick access toolbar. So you customize it, you click that, and then you can come here and add your undo button right here. So once you add that, you can find it again. You can see the undo uh, option. 
You can undo all the previous actions by continuously pressing the undo icon or control Z to bring the original image. So if you press the arrow or control Z as a shortcut on your keyboard, so press control, press and hold control and press Z, it will go back to the previous uh, picture, to the picture before your changes. Next, we have the redo option. The redo option. The redo option is used to repeat the last action done. So option one to do this is use the shortcut uh, control Y. So press and hold control and press Y. Option two is to click the right arrow to give uh, given above the home tab. So this one, it reduced the last action. So, so this one goes back, this one goes front. <coughs> You can, uh, you can view the redo action done in the image. So as you remember, we moved the triangle, we cut some part of the triangle and made it like this. And uh, we undo before, right? And now we redo. So it went back to the cut. So this is what redo does. And if same as before, if you cannot, if you are not able to find the redo icon above the home tab, so if you cannot see, see your redo here, if you cannot find it, if you cannot see it, what you can do is do the same thing, go to the quick access toolbar uh, to customize it and select customize quick access toolbar icon right here. So you press the little arrow and by Clicking the little arrow, you choose a redo, so it will show it to you again. So if you press it, for example, here now, undo, you can see this tick. Uh, if you untick it, it will not show anymore. So make sure anything you need to have, you click it, and then you will have it in the quick access toolbar up here. So maybe you need to send email, it will show you icon. If you need to print, it will show you icon here. If you want to undo or redo, it will show it here if you tick it. So you have to press, you click on it, and then it will show you the icon. Okay, so for your homework, please practice the tools that have been shown and try to find the location of each tool in MS Paint. Try to use them, try to practice them, see how you can use them. You can take a picture of you exploring uh, MS Paint, upload the picture of you and MS Paint on e-learning platform while you check the location on the program for each tool. So what I need you to do is find and explore MS Paint by yourself at home. I want you to uh, introduce MS Paint to yourself to learn each location, the shortcut, the, the different ways, because each way has two or three or even more ways to do. So you can use your keyboard as shortcut, you can use your mouse, you can use different options, okay? Try to practice all ways, all the ways that I have taught you today and find the location of each function and take a picture and upload it to the e-learning platform, okay? So this homework is due to Thursday, 16th of September, all right? That's all for today. Take care and stay safe, everyone. And hopefully see you soon. For now, see you next week. Thank you. Take care.